Institute of Medicine, now the National Academy of Medicine, has estimated that we have 100 million Americans with chronic pain, costing approximately $600 billion a year in direct and indirect costs. That's a huge problem. It's been said that if we correct that differential, we'd resolve the medical economic debt. That's how big the problem of pain is in terms of money. The problem of pain in terms of suffering is immeasurable. Pain is part of all of the major primary disciplines, but not the primary part of any. Because of that, it doesn't have a primary parent to advocate for it, and that's why it's kind of fallen off the shelf when you look at why is pain not represented in curricula? Why are health professionals not trained, even though pain's the most common reason a patient will go um, uh, seeking help from a clinician? The UC Davis Center for Advancing Pain Relief seeks to integrate all of those disparate parts so that instead of working as silos in isolation of each other, we're now building bridges so that we can work together and amplify our impact and, and hopefully our outcomes. That is our goal and what it will look like when it's successful is research, teaching, clinical care and policy that didn't exist prior to those collaborations. Transformative pain care will happen when all of these disparate groups can come together, work together, and benefit from the knowledge and the cross-pollination that's possible.